The crowd were quiet, probably because they had predicted the same thing I had. A Tony Storm victory. But no, we have a new women's world champion, Hikaru Shida. To begin with, the match was a bit slow, with hair pulling, some punches thrown. But then, after Hikaru Shida was sitting on the apron, Tony Storm did a hip attack, knocking her to the outside, and the other outcasts, Soraya and Soho, got involved. On commentary, Emi Sakura was mentioned, but how would you know who she is? She's not on TV. So perhaps that's one of the reasons why the women should have their own internet show. But back to the match. There was a spot in the show where Tony Storm was standing on her Karashida's hair and pulled her arms up, wrenching almost her hair out of her head. Brutal. I felt Storm executed her moves perfectly, like with a full Nelson. And the Storm Zero, which I'm going to get into now. Soraya threw in the kendo stick. And Shida picked it up. It looked like she was going to hit Storm, who was on her knees begging for Shida to hit her and get disqualified and therefore retain. But Shida turned on the two outcasts that were on the apron, Soho and Soraya, knocking them both to the ground. Paul Turner removes the kendo stick from the ring, but when his back is turned, Tony Storm uses the spray can on Shida's face. Storm uses the Storm Zero, but Shida kicks out, which has an amazing pop on the crowd. They love her. Then my favourite wrestler rolls Storm up into a high stack and wins the championship. My prediction was wrong. I'm glad my favourite wrestler is again world champ. And perhaps the women's division needed this just to freshen it up. And perhaps Shida will go to All In at Wembley Stadium because she was the pandemic champion. No crowds. And she's going to be in front of maybe 80,000. What did we get on Rampage this week? Did we get a Battle Royal? Last woman standing match? Six person tag match? Nah, we just got a singles match. But it was a really good one. It was Anna Jay versus Sky Blue. We had Matt Menard and Angelo Parker on the outside. And they were getting involved in the match. And there was also some massive chops and forearms. But the spot I really enjoyed in this match came at the end and how Anna Jay won. Of course she had to win by cheating because she's a heel. Matt Menard was on the far side of the ring distracting the referee when Angelo Parker got up on the apron and asked for a kiss from Sky Blue. And Sky Blue reciprocated with a forearm to the face. This was distraction enough for Anna Jay to lock in the Queen Slayer and get the submission. After the match, we got an amazing promo by Chris Statlander for her match against Mercedes Martinez on Collision. And she was doing squats with Renee Paquette on her shoulders. Promo of the week. On Collision this week, we got Statlander, the champ, going up against Mercedes Martinez. It started off aggressively with Statlander doing a leg sweep, which transitioned into a somersault backsplash. Then Martinez followed up with two butterfly suplexes. And on top of this, we got Ian Riccoboni's Gorilla Monsoon level commentary because he explained why Statlander had come down to the ring with a pelt last week to save Kiera Hogan. Other spots in this match I liked was Martinez doing like kind of a German suplex off the top turnbuckle on Statlander. Regardless of how amazing this match was, it ended in a roll-up. The second one this week. Martinez, not happy with the result, puts the beat down on the champ. D.A. Monte gets involved and so and so does Willow Nightingale, which of course is going to lead, hopefully, to a tag team match. Then we got Tony Storm promo. Amazing. And then also, we got Anna Jay taking on Sheeda next week. So that explains why Anna Jay won this week. Because she's going to lose to Sheeda. 